when we have a source code for any digital circuit verilog code for any digital circuit how to do the simulation and how to do the synthesis and doing the implementation on the fpga everything we have discussed in the previous videos this is the channel where we have a playlist across this playlist you can see that all the videos so when we have done the simulation across the xilinx isc or xilinx wave auto that process we know so how to do the simulation in the synapses vcs2 that's what we'll see it now yes so coming to synapses vcs2 uh, my suggestion all of you go through linux commands and do all the operations with the linux commands itself so i mean the directory home ir i will be giving the name of the directory ganesh underscore end so i'm i will be creating a end gate and i will be creating a test bench to the end gate and i will be doing the simulation using vcs tools so this is my directory i have created let me go into the directory cd ganesh underscore end and now here i will be trying to do the every process this is the folder or this is the directory where i mean now i mean now and i have to do the simulation by creating a source files so i have to create two source files one is the very low code for the end gate another one is the uh, test bench code for the end gate so make a uh, g edit g edit g edit uh, end dot v and yes so this is the file where i write a code very low code for the end gate and then i'll save it in the similar way i have to create another one through the g edit i have to edit the code test bench in the another uh, file i have to combinely use these two files to do the simulation right so let me write the source code for the end gate very low code for the end gate module end gate underscore youtube and a comma b comma y these are the three ports that i will be using and use the semicolon the module definition is done and the input declaration let me do it input a comma b comma right a comma b and uh, output wire wire y a uh, simple data flow modeling style let me use it uh, behavioral modeling style i have to use the always statements and i have to put the conditions if condition where like uh, if a equal to 1 b equal to 1 i have to sn by is equal to 1 else like y is equal to 0 that uh, that code i have to write it i uh, simply i write the sn statements i use the sn statements sn y is equal to a and b and module right so let me save this one and close it so now if you use the ls command where in the ganesh underscore end this is the folder where we have created directory where we have created in that uh, the source code which is available over there in this file now we have to create another file where in which i have to write a test bench so now use the gedit command gedit and underscore tb dot v right so where in this file i have to write the test bench module module end gate underscore youtube underscore test bench and uh, inputs need to be declared as register where from the registers i'll take the input uh, where uh, a1 is the one input b1 is the another input i'll collect it like this wire by one and i'll call that same file what uh, i wrote it in the source file end gate as end gate underscore one with the ports a comma b comma y so when i call this one when i call this one when i call this one i have to do one thing when we call any module instance of any module when you are calling you have to make sure 
the module should be renamed with the label name so i will be using the notation l1 that is the label name for the and gate 1 and gate 1 sorry underscore u sorry underscore u uh, label name is l1 and now and gate has three ports a comma b comma y a will be taking the signal from the a1 register and b is taking the input from the v1 register and y is processing and generating the output to the wire by one so what i do is after i do the labeling instantiating and after that i do the labeling and after that i have to do the mapping so whatever the ports that i have i have to do the mapping with the same ports right so a replaced with the a1 b replaced with the b1 y replaced with the y1 labeling is also done right now i have to assign the values in the test bench right initial initial begin begin a1 equal to one tick b0 and uh, b1 equal to b0 so these two registers are generating zero zero combination ones that zero zero combination will be given to the end gate and that end gate will be processing that uh, zero zero combination and generates that by so that y is going to be generated over here and that will be assigned to the output so this is the first combination for which uh, my end gate will be processing and like that i will be giving another combination of the input after 10 time units after 10 time units there will be another combination a1 equal to 0 and b1 will be 1 0 1 combination will be processed in the third case third case or in the fourth case third case 1 0 in the fourth case 1 1 after uh, 10 units again after 10 units i will be using dollar finish and uh, end end mod so this is how i write a very low code and a text bench for the particular module and get so after i write the two files let me use ls so i can see that list of uh, files where in the particular ganesh underscore and very where there is a end gate uh, module and another one is test bench for the module so once you have these two files here onwards we have to do the simulation directly so now to do the simulation to these two files i have to invoke the tool so tcsh and uh, source source so source the csh file we have to source it and uh, make sure your uh, uh, corresponding uh, server where we have the source file right this is what my csh file i have to source the csh file once i source this file all the tools will be listed over there with the environment variables each variable will be triggered with the particular location so that automatically tool will get opened so i have to open the tool and then i have to use the particular variable which variable you wanted to call so that the particular tool will be opened so if you use that cc1 that is the custom compiler variable custom compiler that is also custom compiler variable c compiler that is also custom compiler variable so like that we have the list of the variables for each tool to invoke so i have the vcs tools right so what i do is uh, my suggestion so i will be giving you that uh, uh, the procedure in the post if you go uh, in my youtube channel and uh, such with uh, rtl2 gds rtl to gds so rtl to gds so this is the file the document just open and uh, you can see that uh, entire procedure of doing the simulation right so rtl simulation you can see it here and the synthesis and rtl to gds that entire flow you can find it over here from this document so now what we do is go to the csh file go to csh file i just uh, mentioned that uh, all the invoking comments so here the invoking command for the vcs tool is this one so now uh, you just copy this one and copy this one and you paste it over here so vcs tool with the two files you are invoking right so with the debug commands now now instead of uh, using the same name there is a full header 
file where we are trying to invoke and we are doing the simulation at that time that's why i kept that uh, name of that two files so now what you do is you have to change the name change the name so what about the names of the two files that we have it and get underscore test bench file and underscore tb another one is only and and so these two files we have to call and we have to run the vcs command so that these two files will be simulated there is a error in the test bench at the 14th line uh, gedit and underscore tb dot p file 14th line yes you can see that uh, this is the 14th line i forgot to keep the semicolon so i have to save this one once again and i have to use the same procedure once again uh yes i have to use the same command let me run it again so simulation process is carried out now yes so dv window will be opened and over here you will be finding the simulation process and you can see the simulation now so these are the variables that i have it in the environment where in the test bench and now select a uh, three right click over here and use the control a and select all the three variables and give right click and you go with the option and you to add to waveforms add to waveforms add to new waveforms now this is the option where we have to click start continuing the simulation just click on this one you can see the simulation for the given pattern 0 0 is the one pattern 1 0, zero 1 is the another pattern so this is a 0 0 pattern right where 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 you can see that a 0 0 for the given input combination you will be getting 0 in the similar way similar way a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 for the 0 1 combination output is 0 and for 1 0 also output is 0 for 1 1 combination you will be getting 1 so except one one combination for the remaining combinations you are getting zero and at uh, one one case you will be getting the logic one right this is the exact uh, functionality of the indicate you can check the functionality through the simulation using vcs tool